is China's new stealth Type 055 destroyer making America's look underpowered? Well, let's compare this with the Arleigh Burke class and before jumping right into it, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe button so you can be a part of our notification squad. The Arleigh Burke class of stealth guided missile destroyers is the United States Navy class of destroyer, while the Type 055 destroyer, also called the Red High class cruiser, according to NATO, is a class of stealth guided missile destroyers being constructed for the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy Surface Force. The Arleigh Burke class was built around the Aegis combat system and the SPY 1D multifunction passive electronically scanned array radar. Originally tasked with defending against Soviet aircraft, missiles, and submarines, the potent destroyer is now used in high-threat areas to conduct anti-air, anti-submarine, anti-surface, and land attack operations. These warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers able to fulfill the strategic land strike role. The Type 055, on the other hand, is a multi-mission design. The combination of sensors and weapons suggests a main role of area air defense, with anti-submarine warfare capabilities surpassing previous Chinese surface combatants. It is expected to undertake expeditionary missions and form the primary escort for Chinese aircraft carriers. The first ship of the Arleigh Burke class was commissioned on 4th July 1991, while the Type 055 entered service in 2019. Arleigh Burke class has more crew capacity and can carry two MH-60R Seahawk Lamp 3 helicopter, while the Type 055 can carry one Harbin Z-9 and Changhe Z-18. Now coming to the cost, the Arleigh Burke class is 1.8 billion US dollars per ship, which is more expensive compared to the Type 055 costing only 900 million US dollars. The Arleigh Burke class has an overall length of 155.3 meters, which is smaller compared to its rival. Its displacement ranges from 8,230 to 9,700 tons, but for the Flight 2A is 9,300 long tons, which is far lesser compared to the Type 055. Both the class has a beam of 20 meters, while the draft of the Arleigh Burke class measures 9.3 meters, and the Type 055 measures 6.6 .6 meters. Arleigh Burke class propulsion system is powered with four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines, each generating 26,250 horsepower, which gives a total output power of 105,000 horsepower. While the propulsive power of the Type 055 is generated by four QC280 gas turbines in combined gas and gas arrangements, which produces an output of 38,000 horsepower each. Total power output is 150,000 horsepower. Additional power may be provided by six 5MW QD50 gas turbines. With this power, it ensures a maximum speed of 30 knots and a range of 5,000 nautical miles, while the Arleigh Burke class has just a lesser range compared to its rival. The Arleigh Burke design incorporates stealth techniques such as the angled rather than traditional vertical surfaces and the tripod mainmast which makes the ship more difficult to detect in particular by anti-ship ship missiles. The hull and superstructure employ shaping techniques to present angles that will bounce or scatter radar return. The mast is angled and closed and made of aluminium and the naval gun has been modified on later ships to include a reduced RCS turret. Some exposed equipment has special covers made of radar-absorbent material, while the Type 055 adopts a conventional flared hull with distinctive stealthy features including an enclosed bulbous bow that hides mooring points, anchor chains, and other equipment. A continuous structure amidship increases internal volume and reduces radar cross-section. The smokestack design reduces both infrared signature and radar cross-section. Chinese sources credit the design as being generally stealthy with reduced radar, noise, infrared, and electromagnetic radiation signatures. Now coming to armament. The Arleigh Burke class main primary gun include the 127mm Mark 45 gun in conjunction with the Mark 35 gun weapon system, an anti-ship weapon which can also be used for closing air contacts or to support forces ashore with naval gunfire support having a range of up to 20 miles or 32 kilometers and capable of firing 20 rounds per minute. 
The classes RIM 7 Sea Sparrow, RIM 162 EWS, and missiles provide joint defense against missiles and aircraft, while the standard missile SM 2 and SM 6 provide area anti aircraft defense. The SM-6 provides over-the-horizon missile defense and the standard missile 3 and 6 also provide ballistic missile defense. While the primary armament of the Type 055 are missiles carried in 112 universal vertical launch cells, 64 cells forward and 48 cells towards the back part of the warship. The same VLS model is used on the Type 052D destroyer, which is believed to be an implementation of the GJB 5860 to 2006 standard. The longest variant with 9 meter cells is likely used. The Type 055 is expected to carry WHQ 9 surface to air missiles, YJ 18 anti ship cruise missiles, CJ 10 land attack cruise missiles, and missile launch anti submarine torpedoes upon entering service. Potentially, the larger cells may also carry anti ship ballistic missiles. Torpedoes for the Type 055 class are unspecified, whereas the torpedoes for the Oliver class include two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes, which include Mark 46, Mark 50, and Mark 54 torpedoes. Oliver class destroyers are equipped with Aegis combat system that integrates the ship's sensors and weapon systems to engage anti ship missile threats. The four subsystems of the Aegis, that is the ANSPY-1 multifunction radar, a command and decision system, an Aegis display system and the weapon control system have a different role altogether. The ANSPY-1D phased array radar incorporates significant advances in the detection capabilities. The SPY-1D and the Mark 99 fire control system allows them to guide vertically launched standard missiles to intercept hostile aircraft and missiles at long ranges. The CDS receives data from ship and external sensors via satellite communications and provides command, control and threat assessment. The WCS receives engagement instruction from the CDS, selects weapons and interfaces with the weapon fire control system. Fire control ra radar, sonar array, tactical towed array sonar proved to be very effective for this warship, while the Type 055 is equipped with the advanced radars and sensors. Sensors include 4S band type 346B active electronically scanned array AESA radars, X band radar, a bow hull mounted sonar, a towed array sonar, which is similar in function to a US SPY 1 Aegis radar. It can detect air targets at significant ranges and track numerous targets simultaneously. It looks like this radar can also detect and track ballistic missile. Various electronic warfare support measures, electronic countermeasures, and electro-optic sensors and data links are mounted. They are likely more advanced than those deployed on previous ships. The Arleburg class ship has an electronics warfare suite that provides passive detection and decoy countermeasures. The class's light airborne multi-purpose system helicopter system improves the ship's capabilities against submarines and surface ships, a helicopter able to serve as a platform to monitor submarines and surface ships and launch torpedoes and missiles against them as well as being able to fire support during insertions, extractions with machine guns and Hellfire anti-armor guided missiles. So which of these two ships do you think is better? Do leave your thoughts in the comment section below and we'll see you once again in our next video. Bye-bye.